Hi everybody, it's Nikki here and welcome to a Makeup Monday video. So today's video is my Panning Solitaire video, which is my Pan That Palette for the year of 2020. This is a Pantastic Ladies collaboration. I will leave all of their all of their details for you. I was doing so well. I was doing so well. This is a Pantastic Ladies collaboration. I will leave all of their details for you down below so you can go and check them out if you are interested. So I have all of my pieces here. I am wearing some of them today. I love this look. It's one of my favourite looks. So let's start with what is on my eyes. It is Colourpop Issa. Um, this is the first time I've worn it in the last month. Uh, I had such high hopes to get more use out of this and I just didn't. Trying to balance wearing makeup and working out is it I'm, I'm not balancing it it's very much working out makeup <laughs> it's like it's not working it's not working at all um i need to get better at it especially for next year so um it did lose weight uh so last month my colourpop issa weighed 13.66 grams it now weighs 13.63 grams it's going down like that's all I can ask of it. Still a stunning colour, still very, very beautiful. That's how much I've got left. I was hoping to get a bit more, like at least another quarter of this gone by the end of the year. Never gonna happen. Never gonna happen. <laughs> but next year I do plan on doing a project pan based solely on my Colourpop products. So hopefully, maybe, possibly next year, might see more of this. The next item is my duo, uh, my smooch duo in uh, Seattle and this is how it currently looks now. I, again, I can't remember a time of using this, let's be honest. Um, it has gone down, it went from 38.76 to 38.73, so again, same amount as the Colourpop has gone down, 0 0.03 of a gram, um, minimal, um, they're stunning colours, that's the thing, like, this makes such a stunning eye look, um, so those are the two colours. And it makes such a stunning eye look. So, ugh, I need to, I need to really work on this. So, yeah, that's that one. Get a towel and just clean my fingers before I end up wiping it everywhere. Um, okay, and the next one is my trio in my Z palette. So we have a uh, back talk, candy floss, and Sin City. Sin City is by Makeup Geek and these two are from Freedom. So back seat has gone from 3.11 to 3.07. I was really, really hoping I'd hit pan. But no, I am so close though. I am really close. Um, oh, So close. I know I am. This is my goal. For the end of the year, I want to hit pan on back seat. That is my goal. If I can do that, I'll be happy. I'll be more than happy. Um, back uh, Candy Floss has gone from 3.27 to 3.25. So that is very good. And I already have pan on that one. And then Sin City has stayed the same at 4.32. Uh, normally I try and put this orange sort of like on the lower lash line or in my inner corner but because I was so determined to hit pan on this purple here I used the purple on my lower lash lash line at this time and then I kind of went into a different palette for my inner corner highlight that isn't in this project pan it's in a different one that I'm I only have till November for um, so yeah, I didn't use that Sin City at all in this eye look this time, so no wonder there's no change in its weight. So yeah, goal is to hit pan on this purple. Like, that is the only thing I really, really, really want to do. So that is that. And then as 
per usual, the star of this uh, project pan has and always probably will be my Avon Ju um, my Avon quad in Eau Naturel. <coughs> and look at that white. That cream is, it's going to need repressing. I can barely get into the corners now. Um, I can barely get any on my brush. I use this to set my eye base. Every eye look I create, doesn't matter which um, eyeshadows I'm putting on top, I'm always using this one. Um, <coughs> and I have shade two and shade four in my brows. So, yes. Um, but that cream shade, that is the one that is going to be finished by the end of the year. I can practically almost guarantee it. Um, but I think I am going to have to repress it because, if anything, that's going to break soon. And I don't want that happening to me. So I'm going to have to repress it after this video. And, um, and yeah, and then use it from there and hopefully finish it up. Um, I don't have any issues with finishing that up. So, yeah, that is my uh, Panning Solitaire update for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.